Hey guys, so as of today, I decided something. I'm gonna make this new series and it's gonna be called The Redneck Way to dot dot dot. <laughs> um, not calling myself a redneck or anything, but I definitely do some redneck things. I am from a small town in northwestern New Jersey. Um, we had more cows than people, that's actually a fact. I graduated with not a lot of kids and that was like five townships combined so very very small town we didn't have a gas station in my town or food groceries any of that but anyway the redneck way too is going to be a series of just random things throughout the summer that i do in a redneck way and in case you're wondering on how to do them i'm going to share them with you now i just thought of this on my drive here and me wearing this Rednecky camo shirt from probably Walmart is just a coincidence. <laughs> I put it on over my work clothes because um, I'm gonna be cleaning these tires today. I got these. Well, let's talk about the situation. So, so I have these big 20-inch Rockstar rims on my truck, and I'm gonna be honest, they're just not my style. They're just not me. And now that I need new tires, I'm like, tires are way too expensive for these 20 inch rims that I'm not even attached to. They just came with the truck. So here's an example, starting price for a um, tire with a 17 inch rim, a mud terrain um, is 198 bucks. Starting price for the same size tire with a 20 inch rim, the rim I have, mud terrain, same tire, 398 bucks. So 200 bucks a tire more because of these stupid ass rims. So I'm gonna be getting rid of them and I'm selling them if you wanna buy them. You know, hit me up <laughs> on my uh, comments here. But really I'm gonna be selling them. I got these stock Toyota rims, 17 inch rims off like a 2016 Tacoma for 100 bucks. That's one redneck way to uh, fix a rim problem is, uh, you know, search around KSL, Craigslist, ask a, a, um, a tire shop, anything. I got these for a hundred bucks. They're silver, they're in great shape. I'm gonna spray paint them black tomorrow because I want them black and they'll look great on my truck black. And, they'll, and I'm getting tires like hundreds and hundreds of dollars cheaper with a lifetime warranty because I'm going down in a rim size. So they're gonna look great. So, I'm gonna paint them black. And I'm gonna show you the redneck way to paint them black. Um, I grew up with a brother that loves fixing trucks and um, the way he fixes trucks with spray paint and primer, that's the only way I know how. So, I'm gonna be doing that. Start by um, getting them cleaned here with the pressure washer and then we'll go from there. Hundred bucks for all four. Twenty fours. Look how dirty they are. Cause I mean, they were on a truck. And then I'll do an after once I'm done with that. After. Squeak clean. Anything that's still left on them is like a scratch. They look good. They're gonna look sharp when they're painted black. And they're on here. And these are the rims I'm saying goodbye to. I'm too cheap to keep them around. They do look good on the truck, but they gotta go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now I'm going to work, so the uh, project's gonna have to hold off till tomorrow, but stay tuned, I'll be back tomorrow. My truck's uh, bearings and hubs are gonna be fixed, replaced tomorrow. Um, meanwhile, I'm gonna paint the rims. Gonna do that all tomorrow, so hold tight. Work first. Good morning. It's day two, and it's time to start painting those uh, those wheels. Uh, my truck is gone. Is gone. It's getting its bearings fixed and hubs and all that. And I'm gonna start painting them right now. So I'm gonna use 400 grit sandpaper um, to scuff them up and then some acetone to clean them off and then start painting, doing two, three coats per wheel. So let's get started. Right, Brookie? Brookie! This is my sidekick. I don't have workman's comp, so she's not really supposed to be working for me, but she's gonna be. She wants nothing to do with it. Okay, I got my cat all tied up. It's not much help. Got these laid out on a tarp. That's where I'm gonna paint them. I know I said 400 grit, 
but I actually only have 100 grit and no truck right now to go get some more. So that's the materials. And then I got this matte black, flat black paint and primer. Um, works for bunts of plastic, wood, metal, blah, blah, blah. 386 a pop. I got four of them. That's going to be more than enough. I'm going to get started sanding right now. So let me show you. Oh, you can't see too well from this far away, but they're all scuffed up just enough. I'm going to clean them with a rag and some acetone. Rookie's going to clean them. Right? All right, they're all shined up. Going to give them a couple minutes to dry. They're pretty much dry already. Then I'm going to do the first coat. I'm going to be spraying with my, uh, what's it called? Spray paint about six inches away. Going to do the first coat very light, kind of make it look sticky and just not all the way lose its color yet and go heavier on the next coats. They're gonna look great. All right, here we go. Well, it's too dang hot outside for my phone to work. Apparently it cut off while I was painting the first coat. But there's the first coat. I'll get the second coat on film. Let, my, let those dry right now and uh let my phone cool down i'll tell you what it's hot out there brookie is like look give me a pool or something it's so hot out there but the first coat is on so that feels good i can't wait for it to dry and do the next couple coats and see how it's like actually gonna look i'm so excited look how easy this is spray paint sandpaper acetone, a rag, a tarp, some sunshine, a cat. Brooke, you're being anti-social, Brooke. Say hello. Don't lick my fingers. They might have spray paint on them. She's a noble cat woman. She's my best friend. Are you sad? You look sad. Is it the harness? Okay, they're already dry. It's too hot outside to film for with my phone. So I'm gonna film from the inside. Now I'm going out and doing second coat. Okay, so the second coat's done. There was a little uh, suicide bomber, you know, one of those little bugs trying to get on it. Sabotaged my whole project, but I got him off. So no worries, right, Brooke? 
I'm gonna wait for the second coat to dry, do third coat. Hopefully that's the last one. They look mint. I'm so excited. Third coat's on, I'm just waiting for them to dry and then they're done. And then tomorrow, I put them on my, my uh, tires. And then I put them on my truck. And don't rush putting um, your tires, putting your wheels on your tires or your rims on your tires, whatever you want to call it. Because when you just paint them, even if you think they're dry, they're still pretty sensitive. So you want to make sure that they're super, super dry before you go scuffing them up because you don't want to waste all that hard work. So I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they're all done. They look great. Gonna put them on and tires and I'll let you know uh, how they look and show you once I get that done. Gonna go pick up my truck, the bearings are done. Sweet. Bye bye, 35s and 20 inch rims. This is what it looks like before. I'll show you what it looks like after. Beautiful. I seriously think my truck looks better with the 33s than the big old 35s that are in the bed. Looks awesome. The rims came out awesome. This white stuff you see is just like the grease from putting on the wheel on the tire, but I freaking love them. So happy with they turned out. And that, folks, is the redneck way to uh, paint your rims black. Cost me a total of, I got the rims for a hundred bucks. Um, got the spray paint for, For eight, only cost me eight bucks in spray paint. So really that's all your costs. No, it's cheap. So you can spend your money on other things. But I'm off to go do other things right now. So see you later and thanks for watching.